Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like the clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Yes, you are. Uh, you Have you been going to my lives? I've been doing lives in the evenings. Uh, yeah, go check them out. All the cool kids go there. All the kids. Kevin Serling is one of them. Uh, Lauren Darkin, I think is his name. Uh, I should know all their names. I should write them down. Really, I should. Anyways, Ranch. Ranch comes in. We get all the cool kids there. E-Money. E the E-Money from uh, from uh, all On The Money podcast. He comes in. Ricketts. From Ricketts Picks. He comes in there all the time. We have much frolic, my friends. Today, I'm going to get into where uh, Mr. Domi might be going to. You know, the, the whole ruler, r- rumor ruler, rumor in the land that Max Domi is out of Montreal. Big rumor going on. Seems pretty obvious, actually. Seems pretty likely. Uh, he wants to play center. And uh, it's funny because he played wing in Arizona. Maybe that was the thing. Goes to Montreal. They played him at center. Now I'm starting to put it in my head. He left Arizona, bitching that he couldn't play center there. Brought him to Montreal. They played him center and said, well, you know, we think we're, we don't need you at center. And he's like, okay, I don't want to play for you either. So there's, we're going to look at his value and uh, how his how a few things affect his value and who he may go to and all of those sort of things like that. But first, I wanted to get some letters here but from Shei Lu Wu from, from uh, Koping, China. I hope I said that right. And they said... I've been watching you ever since I was a little kid. I'm, I don't know how old you are, but that's pretty cool. And uh, I noticed you don't talk a lot about the Montreal Canadiens. I had to get a translator for that. But I went down to uh, Chin Ki's House of Yoga, and I gave Poon the letter. And uh, she read it and said, yeah, this is what it says. So, And I was like, well, I didn't know. I didn't even know that. Did, did I not talk about the Montreal Canadiens? We talk about all the teams here in Perlo Land all the time. I'm very surprised by that. So, well, my friends, here we go. Montreal Canadiens, uh, Pearls and Frolic into your environment. And thank you for your letters. We love your letters. Uh, Peter Flay asked uh, from Louisville, uh, Kentucky, asked much the same question. Odd that you would be a fan of Montreal Canadiens there in Louisville, Mr. Peter Flay. Uh, but apparently, I haven't been talking much about the Montreal Canadiens. Anyways, um, thank you for your letters. Send your letters. We have Helen, who who grinds up all the pearls that I send out to everybody. Hernandez and Melissa, the pearlocopter driver, drivers. We all get together in the morning, and we... we um, Guido goes down to the mailroom. Guido's our mailroom guy. He goes down to the mailroom, gets all the letters, comes up in this little sack, just like that. That's how he does it. He's got his little sack. And then he pours them all over the letter table, and there's the Perlo dance. Everybody's Perlo dancing, and there's much frolic. And yeah, every morning we do that. So thank you for your letters. Keep on sending them. Awesome. Well, my friends, since you brought it up and we have some uh, Domi, Max Domi rumors, we are giving you Montreal Canadians flavor pearls here, aren't we? So let's go to, I have five teams, five teams that, that uh, Max Domi may go to. Um, and uh, we'll look into which one is most likely and all kinds of frolics. So get yourself all set up, get your your uh, journals out, your notebooks and uh you know, sharpen your pencil, and then we'll get at her. Edmonton Oilers versus uh, Edmonton Oilers. Okay, Edmonton Oilers versus the Edmonton Oilers is the first team is what I'm trying to tell you that we'll be going to to uh, see how uh, where Max Domi might go. Now, the Edmonton Oilers most definitely need a third line center. They are loath to play Nugent Hopkins on their third line center position. They like to play him on the left wing there with Dreisaitl and McDavid. Also, they have to resign him. Now, the Edmonton Oilers also have some significant cap issues. So, I, uh, 
it's a bit challenging. Domi needs to be re-signed. That's part of the reason why he might be out in Montreal. He was already making three point something million. Um, I don't think that's totally it, though. I think it has more to do with philosophical differences where Montreal says, we'll sign you, but we're going to need you to play wherever we tell you to play. Right. Um, and we also had another, there was another thing that happened there. And you can go look this up on the, on the internet. I'm not going to do all the work for you. These rumors. Dano was very unhappy because he wasn't getting second line center minutes. He believes he's a second line center. And you can make a case, I suppose, that he is a second line center. Um, I would say a second or third on a really good team, probably a third. But um, he wants to keep his second line center status for many reasons. That's part of the reason as well. You don't want to piss off Dan Hall. No. And I think they love him there in Montreal, organizationally and fan wise. And um, want to keep them happy. So, I have an offer as an Edmonton Oilers fan. Now, if you're going to go Edmonton Oilers with the Edmonton Oilers, Montreal, I think ultimately would be looking for wingers here, especially scoring wingers, maybe big wingers. Um, Edmonton could offer up Zach Cassian and. Uh, they really wanted to go nuts. They could offer their first round pick and Zach Cassian, and I think that would actually get the deal done. Except, didn't Cassian play for Montreal already when before he got into his sobriety? So that might be a little bit iffy. Um, another thing, another player they have that's a restricted free agent this year that I don't think that they're too interested in giving $3 million to, which is what they would have to do if they're going to give him a qualifying offer on his next contract, and that's Andreas Athanasiu. Now, Montreal was, from what I understand, interested in Athanasiu when he was available from Detroit last year, he, but they were only offering a second round pick, and Edmonton posted up two seconds, and I wish they didn't because he looked horrible. So maybe they think they can still get something from Athanasiu, they can offer that and their first round pick this year, which I think the Edmonton Oilers are loath to do. Holland hates trading his first round picks. He believes in bringing up players and uh, from in through their system and uh, f having grassroots talent on his team. So my thinking is that's not likely the case. Um, it may be. Now, if they are willing to go defense, the Edmonton Oilers could offer Adam Larson. And I think that that would be the most likely play here if Montreal is looking for defense. From what I can tell with Montreal, they actually are not really looking for a right-handed defenseman, though. And Larson is a right-handed defenseman. So I would say that the most likely play here for the Edmonton for for uh, the Edmonton Oilers to grab that would be their first round draft pick this year. Possibly, if uh, a prospect, and uh, maybe like Matthew Benning, that would be the play. Matthew Benning, a prospect that a forward prospect more likely, Tyler Benson, for instance, somebody of that nature. And uh, Andreas Athanasiou, a package such as that, maybe something that would work for the Montreal Canadiens. So let's go to the San Jose Sharks. San Jose Sharks are an interesting team. They should probably be rebuilding, but they just gave Carlson half the land for eternity. <laughs> Eric Carlson. So it's pretty hard to do a rebuild when you have Burns, Carlson, Edward Vlasic, long term. I mean, this is a team that really has to win now, but isn't really set to win now at the same time. Kind of scary. Unless they can pull out a really amazing goaltender, Jones can come back and be uh, what everybody expected him to be and keep him in there. This team could be in trouble for a while. But with that in mind, they could really use a young center like Domi who is like in the, it's sort of like an in the middle rebuild. Um, they can take some young players, bring some young players, 
start a young core and just kind of quickly sort of half rebuild through it. And and Max Domi would make sense that way. He could play center in San Jose. Uh, Joe Thornton is probably on his way out now. If he does play, he'll probably be playing more on the left wing now than rather center. So you could put a package together with like Kevin LeBanc, uh, their Tampa Bay's first round pick. And I really like Alex True. I, I really like the way he's been progressing in the minors for them. And uh, that would give them a, give Montreal a, 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 a sort of scoring winger in Kevin LeBanc um, that is, might be able to post up 40 or 50 points. It, they also get the first round pick, which Montreal can use. Uh, they have a lot of picks this year. They're, they're sort of like doing a quick rebuild themselves. Not a bad play. Then you, we would go to my third team, which is the Winnipeg Jets. The Winnipeg Jets have been rumored for a lot of players right now. The TSN's uh, most likely traded list had two Winnipeg Jets, Patrick Lyonet and Nicholas Ehlers. Now, I don't think Ehlers is going anywhere personally. I think Ehlers is staying. I do think it's possible that Lion A is going. Now, if you're going to make a move for Lion A, you're going to need a lot more than Domi. It's seriously going to cost Domi, Montreal's first pick, and probably Mete, at least, to get a Lion A. And maybe even more than that. Um... I think that Montreal may try to make a move for for Lyonie. It might even cost them next year's first. Um, I just think that there's teams out there that can put a better package together for Lyonie than Montreal. But uh, this is, Domi is a play there. To so Domi is something they could use there because um, Little, who's been their second line center forever. Uh, looks like he may be ending his career. As it stands right now, Matthew Perot and possibly Adam Lowry are the second line centers. So certainly they could use a second line center. Uh, it would be a great place for Domi in the sense that he would definitely be a second line center here. So let's say they don't go for the big play and they don't aren't able to get Lyonet, who I do believe Montreal will be trying as hard as they can to get, but I don't, I think they'll fall short. What could they do? Who could they get back for Domi? Um, for again, you look at maybe Winnipeg's first. There's been talk that Winnipeg's willing to trade that first for the right package. I think they'd be looking more for defense. Their defense has been decimated over the last little while. And, uh, um, they have a lot of defensemen coming off their cap. If they're going to trade that, I think it would be more for a defenseman. I think if they're going to get Domi, they're going to be wanting to look at some roster players. Um, difficult because there's not much on their actual roster that I see that they would be able to do. If possibly, possibly, the one player which I think would work out really well for Montreal um, and I actually really like him. I don't know why in Winnipeg he hasn't panned out the way they thought he would. I think he's a slow burn. He's taken a long time to grow. And that is – well, I just lost him. Oh, that's because I'm looking at Jack Roslovich. <laughs> That's Jack Roslovich. I think Jack Roslovich and a prospect might do it for Montreal. The reason why I say Jack Roslovich, okay, he hasn't put up huge offensive numbers yet, but there's one area of Montreal's uh, forwards that needs a lot of work in that size. Jack Roslovich is about 6'1", 2-something, uh, uh, and plays big, and I think has a big offensive upside. Personally, if it's me, if I'm able to get Roslovich back and if I can suck out a second round pick or something like that, out of all of the ones I've offered so far, this may be the one. There's one other team 
that I think will be making a play, and that's my Philadelphia Flyers. In these playoffs, the Philadelphia Flyers showed very much that they could darn well use a third-line center. Grant and Thompson as your third, fourth centers is just not good enough at all, and I'm pretty sure they know that. Uh, now, the thing is with Montreal is they're kind of capped out. By the way, Winnipeg has the cap space to do this kind of a move as well. That's why it works. Here in Philly now, you're looking at a different scenario. Um, if they took back Domi, here's something that may be able to happen. Philadelphia Flyers give their first round pick. James Van Riemsdyk, who... If there was any team that James Van Riemsdyk might be able to get the best out of them, they might be able to get the best out of them and could use, it would be the Montreal Canadiens. The Philadelphia Flyers retain some salary. They give up their first round pick. And Morgan Frost for Domi. That's my offer. Now, if I'm Montreal, I, I, I don't think – if I'm personally the Montreal Brass, I don't think I'd take this deal. But I have a feeling that their need for size may make them go, yeah, this could work. Um, they need size really bad. And James Van Rees by Dyke in the last round was probably one of Philadelphia's better players, actually, which isn't saying all that much. But if they could turn the guy around and put him on a path where he's a 25-goal scorer again, um, he could be a very good pickup for them. Um, the first-round pick, of course, would be great. And getting Frost, a fast center that – not too far down the road could be playing in that spot with Domi. Anyways, those are my three. If it's me, I like Jack Roslovich a lot. I would be going, probably going for that for Winnipeg. And now that would be, um, the reason why Winnipeg would do something like that is they've been working with Jack for quite a while. It kind of looks like what they expected of him as a second line center may not pan out the way they want. Uh, way they expected, or at least from their eyes. Me, I think Jack Rozovich is just going to be a late bloomer and going to slowly move up and move up and move up. Losing a guy like Domi, who everybody knows is kind of on the way out. Domi, I don't know. He, he says he wants to stay in Montreal. He, he double talks all kinds of things. And honestly, it just, it seems quite likely he's leaving. So I wanted to get into this. His value. A lot. There's a lot of Montreal fans out there that are out thinking they're going to get the world for for Max Domi because he's a young center. The diff problem is he's already played in two organizations, and both of those organizations haven't seemed all that happy with him. So that puts question marks in general managers' heads. Like, do I want to go with this guy? I don't want to give up too much guy with this question mark. Not to mention the way he's leaving Montreal where it seems apparent that it's because he doesn't want to play the wing. He only wants to play center. It even looks like it's even gone as far as been of disruption in the room. Disruption in the room was the, 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 the kind of the uh, marking of what happened in Arizona as well. So I don't think he's going to get a lot. I think that in the sense of Philadelphia – Taking a contract back, like Van Riemsdyk, to get yourself a first in Frost or something of that nature, and possibly hitting a hitting a jackpot where Joe, where James Van Riemsdyk is is valuable to the team, is not a bad play. Those would be my first two ones. I don't think the Larson trade in Edmonton is going to work out for Montreal all that well. Um, it's simply because they don't need right defensemen all that much. Um, it's possible, but not likely. And the other offer for the forwards and their first-round pick um, is something because it's it's a higher first-round pick. Uh, it's an interesting first-round pick, but I, I really think Montreal is also trying to find bodies. So my pick is the Winnipeg Jets. Picks up Max Domi. 
and uh, everybody in the land is happy again. Max Domi gets to play center. Uh, Montreal gets a guy who I think still has a heck of a lot of upside in Jack Roslovich for a possible mistake play when they traded. Uh, well, not really, because Galchenyuk didn't really work out in Arizona either. But um, didn't really work out. A player that's not working out for a guy who's got a lot of heart, like Jack Roslovich, can bring size to your team, I think would be a hell of a move. That's my full 42%, boys and girls. And thank you for all the subscriptions, hitting the bell uh, to get the uh, algorithm, kick the algorithm's ass. Let's kick the algorithm right in the, right in the testes, shall we? <laughs> hit the sub, hit that button. See me on my lives and come and connect and let's enjoy time together. Have a great day and lots of love to you.